Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. from Dallas. And I'm Dr. Rick Marinson, and I'm not from Dallas. <laughs> and your doctor, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Tell, tell, tell the engineering team I need you just a little bit louder. They're trying to adjust, adjust you on my end. Right. Okay. So my name so I've is... I've got Dr. Fling, and who else is with her? Rick Marinson. Rick Marinson, thank you so much for joining us. I love it when doctors bring guests. <laughs> well, we're glad to be here. Well, Dr. Dr. Fling, we're going to be talking about parasites. On pet. Will you set the medical platform for us, and then we'll talk to Rick? Okay. Well, uh, the Companion Animal Parasite Council is a national organization, a national nonprofit of veterinarians and parasitologists committing to, committed to protecting pets and people from parasites. And here recently, we've just released our annual forecast. And the big news is that with milder temperatures and increased rainfall, that parasites are spreading across the country. And I know being from Dallas myself, we have seen a huge uptick in parasite issues locally. I agree with you. I hear my friends talk about it. I don't have pets at this time in my life, but I do hear my friends talking about it, and they're wondering what's going on. Well, I'm glad they're talking about it because that's the, the most important step to, to take, to talk to your pet's veterinarian, to see your pet at least annually and have annual testing done, and also talk to your pet's doctor about parasite prevention. And we're seeing a lot of issues with things like heartworm disease, uh, tick-borne diseases, and things like that. And Rick, I know heartworm is something really near and dear to your heart. <laughs> Heartworm disease, Rick? yeah, heartworm disease is uh, an infection that both dogs and cats can get, carried from pet to pet by mosquitoes. The environmental conditions in this past year have really created uh, a perfect scenario for a very a hotbed of heartworms, if you will. So Dallas is an area where pet owners should be very, very concerned about keeping their pets protected. And I'd sure like to see us get you a pet so that you can uh, enjoy that as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think I'm adult enough for a pet. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe someday. <laughs> yeah, maybe someday, Dr. Karen. Let me ask you though: when you have these things uh, that are attacking your loved one, because you know pets are like children. I I don't like to make that analogy, well, but that's how people I feel about I don't like making it. that analogy. They certainly are part of the family, and, and keeping them protected and safe is very important. And uh, even things like Lyme disease, I, mean, I think normally people think about Connecticut, they think about East Coast as having Lyme disease, but we're actually seeing a rise in Lyme disease in the Dallas Metroplex area. And that is a tick-borne disease, and we are not safe from ticks even in Dallas. And as people travel and move across the country, some of these parasite diseases can spread into areas where we've not seen them, seen them before. And that's what our forecasts are showing us currently. All right. I'm going to take this question off of Facebook. And, and the poster wants to know that when they go to the doctor, they have a list of questions that they, they want to know about for themselves. Should they do the same for their dog or is the vet going to tell them what's wrong? Well, you should absolutely be an advocate for your pet's health. 
uh, you know, in the, in the time span you go to a veterinary visit, you've got access to the doctor for, you know, maybe a half an hour once a year. So it's very, very important that you come with your list of questions. They're going to have information that they're going to want to impart to you. And one of the things that the Companion Animal Parasite Council does is supply your veterinarian with the tools that they need to educate you as a pet owner on how to protect your pet. The medications that are available are safe, they are effective, they are affordable, and they need to be administered year-round to both dogs and cats, and whether they are an indoor or an outdoor pet. All right, Rick, I'm going to ask you, and then I'll go to the doctor, because <laughs> I think you can answer this one really good. What should, uh, uh, the poster wants to know, we don't use names, the poster wants to know that uh, they have a list of medical requirements for themselves. They got to eat right, they got to exercise, that kind of thing. Is there anything that they can do to lessen the effect of these diseases by eating right, exercising their pet? Well, certainly if your pet is, is sick, if they are compromised in some fashion, if there's an issue with their immune system, they are going to be more susceptible to diseases in general and parasites in specifics. So certainly part of the whole wellness of having a pet is to keep them well-fed, well-exercised, appropriate body weight, and the judicious use of medications to prevent disease when you can. Thank you so much. I'm going to wrap up with you, Dr. Karen. What advice can you give my audience uh, as we go into this season? We're in spring now. You know in, in, in Texas, summer is going to be horrendous. I don't care what the winter is like. Is there any uh, what they can do to keep their pet healthier? Well, the best method of protection is prevention. And it's actually been found that by preventing parasites that you can save anywhere from two to nine times as much cost by preventing disease before it happens. So that's the best thing. And if your pet has not seen the doctor within the last year, go see the pet's veterinarian today and keep your pet protected. And, and don't make the assumption that you would know if your pet was sick. Uh, very often, we don't see signs for some of these serious conditions like heartworm or leukia in Lyme until it's really too late. Dr. Karen Fling and Rick Marin, I want to thank you so very much for helping us to keep our health pets healthy. Uh, this is going out all over the United States, so you guys can use this anywhere that you are, but especially in Texas where I love the people. I want to thank you guys for being my guest today. Well,